And here's a little rundown of uh, what's uh, in my 400 millimeter Delta. Say hi to Jasmine. Oh, she's camera shy. Okay, the bed. Oh, it's heavy. It's got a 120 volt heater. And it is sandwiched uh, with cork from... Uh, it's actually uh, uh, from O'Reilly's. It's for engine gaskets. And it's half inch thick and there's two layers of it. And then there's, there's another heat spreader on the bottom which is just simply used uh, as, a, as a solid platform. And then the glass is actually siliconed around the edge to the top heat spreader. I of course have it grounded. And on the bottom are these little printed pieces. And they go down into these cups that I printed. And I'll see if I can do this to show you. There's two piezos here. One that it actually sets on. I'm having a little trouble getting that. There we go. And then one underneath that it doesn't sit on, but it takes the vibration. And then they are combined together uh, out of phase so that the vibration from the machine is canceled as best as possible. And just the weight of the bed is detected. I have a Duet uh, 2 uh, board in here. And... I've got a little uh, fan to blow underneath it, although I didn't really need it on my 250. And there's the piezo control board. Uh, that's a Ally Express uh, fan, bird air, however you pronounce it. And I've got a couple of, uh, of uh, heat sinks that I put on it, like I did my other one, just because it got pretty warm when it's running hot. Uh, I've got two SSRs for the bed. Uh, it kind of goes against my grain as an electrician, but one cuts the neutral and one cuts the hot. They're both wired to where they work simultaneously, and in case one of them shorts, uh, stays shorted, then uh, hopefully the other one will cut it. If that doesn't, then I've also got a relay uh, that is hooked up. Uh, that will cut out uh, as well and also uh, to it on the other side of the relay is the 24 volt uh, uh, extruder heater so it'll cut out uh, on a heat fault. I've got a, uh, a fanless uh, Meanwell power supply and of course uh, uh, I printed David Crocker's little uh, panel to hold it all uh, up here. With a, uh, I actually modified it for my own switch and fuse uh, since I had those, those laying around. And I've got .9 steppers, uh, the ones that David actually uh, recommended. Uh, to use and then I put this bed down. Uh, the effector is one I printed myself. It's 81 millimeter spacing uh, center to center on the rods. Uh, I've got a zesty nimble and of course the bird air uh, coming down to it. Uh, I got a volcano on this one. Uh, a couple of tubes just pointing down work really good for the air. And then uh, printed carriages uh, with the uh, heavy duty wheels from uh, open builds, uh, carbon fiber tubes, and then uh, my spool holder that uh, is hacked out of a old HP color printer. Uh, that's working pretty good. Uh, I have not done the lighting yet, so there are some wires 
here and there that are just hanging out. They're not hooked to anything right now. Uh, and uh, I, I modified uh, uh, at top. I didn't like uh, the smooth idlers for the, for the tooth belt. So, of course, uh, and there's a hacked piece of metal, but uh, I made my own did different bearings and everything and made my own uh, idlers. So, oh, and the, the, the stepper motor for the extruder is right here. Uh, it hinges this way, which was uh, what I determined would be about optimum for different printing heights. Uh, I tried a gimbal system, two directions, and that didn't work out uh, very well. I do have a fan on this extruder motor. Uh, I'm using 3.6 degree uh, extruder motors. Uh, they are they are actually made by Portscape. S-cap, they've changed their name, but uh, that's the uh, extruder I'm using for uh, stepper for the uh, nimble, and these things work awesome because you've got less steps, so they can move faster, and they're uh, dual disc permanent magnets inside there. Uh, they're for their size and everything. They're pretty darn powerful. Uh, the reason I've got the fan on that one is, is I'm driving it at full 1.2 amps. Uh, I got a little warm, probably not enough to worry about, but uh, I worry about those kind of things, so it just stays nice and cool now.